starting to cry as you jog through your neighborhood makes you feel like maybe your sadness is not real. Like maybe it is something manufactured for a scene in a motion picture. It also makes it difficult to breathe, particularly when you might be a person who already has difficulty breathing. Sometimes I wonder if that is all of us. wonder if that's what a person is, a thing that is difficulty breathing. I tell myself, I do not work for sorrow. Sorrow works for me. Baby leopard to the mama leopard. Mama, what is that thing mumbling to itself? <laughs> mama leopard, that is a person. <laughs> Baby, what is a person? Mama, a thing that has difficulty breathing. <laughs> you have built me a canoe and put me inside of it have told me I need to row to the center of the island in the center of the lake, and that you will try to meet me there, but you have to go in your own boat, and also that the boat you built for me happens to have a leak in it. You tell me not to worry about the water pouring into my canoe, just concentrate on my rowing, and to let you concentrate on yours. As I head out, you also remind me that on the island there may be monsters, wild beasts hungry to devour us, we just do not know, but the unknowingness of the future, what an adventure. I look behind me, you are sitting on the shore, reading a book, trying to keep the sun out of your eyes. I do not work for sorrow, sorrow works for me. As I run through the green and Texas streets, I mistake a distant man in a pink shirt for a deer and wave at two tiny girls as I pass them. They may have actually been sugar snap peas. There is not much I can trust these days, least of all myself. There must be some part of my youth still blazing somewhere inside of me, though. Two nights ago, when biking with Mandy past the people dining outside on East 11th, I yelled, Good evening! in a spirited yet sophisticated manner. It was a cannon being fired from some distant life I once wore. It felt like me. I can see him on the other side of a large gorge, waving. Even from this distance, I can see he has pretty hands. I wave back, but not quite sure what it is that I am waving with. I do not work for sorrow. Sorrow works for me. I wish that me was a bigger me. I wish it enveloped the me I am right now. I am so small right now, I do not know why it cannot. For the first time in more than a decade, I am my college weight. This is not a good thing. I am skin draped over sharp wind. I want to talk to the world. The curse of the internet is that this desire is fed but you are also made to believe you want what the world has to give back, even though you don't, even though you do, even though you don't. <laughs> this world can give nothing back to you. You can only give yourself to yourself and or give yourself to another self and be fine or not fine with this. This is not always under one's control. I do not work for sorrow. Sorrow works for me. There is an ocean of sorrow inside all of us. I have tried to learn how to spend my days not swimming in it, to stand on its shore, to only dip my toes in its water once in a while, and should I dip in, shake its drops from my shoulders and leave. This does not always work, and when it does, there is still sometimes a breeze blowing from off its salty waves, pushing through the air to find me. Sometimes people visit the ocean in me and send postcards. Hello, Anise. We are at your ocean of sorrow, thinking of you. I try not to write back. There must be some part of me still young. I have been treading water for over a year now. I do not work for sorrow. I am no king, never have been. No need to clutch so tightly these bolts of thunder. No need to sit upon these clouds, looking down upon the earth, looking for something soft to throw against something hard. I am not Zeus, more so quick-footed, ankle-winged, sleeping beneath sheepskin, carving turtles into lyres and holding the hands of those traveling into the next world. We are all traveling into the next world. I can only give myself to another self and be fine with this. I do not know if I know how to do that anymore, being fine with this. <laughs>
How does one work with sorrow while not eventually working for it? Does Hermes work with death or for death? All the people I see are dears. I keep my distance, wait for them to pass or to become people again. Thank you.